All right, in this lesson, we're going to create the back end now for the user. So what we want to do here is we want to create another menu. So let's go here on the home page. So this is what the general public is going to see. What we're going to do is when someone logs in, it's going to redirect them to a different page where they can see all the latest movies. So as of right now, um, the general public cannot see the movies. Okay, so let's go over back here and go to the menus. And we have this hidden menu here where the home is also located. So let's just click on add new menu item. And then we're just going to click on member home. And then click on select. And then from system links, you want to click on external. And for now, since we don't have anything we're connecting that to yet, we're just going to put a, a hashtag on there and click on save and close. Oh, one more thing, make sure that you set this to, instead of public, we're gonna set this to register so that only registered users are gonna be able to see this page. So you wanna click on save and close. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, the page through the page builder. So you wanna go to SP Page Builder and you wanna click on add new page. So we are going to create a new page here for the members part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on just delete this existing column here if I can do that. So I've deleted that and I'm just going to click on add a new row so I get a fresh row. And then from here, <clears throat> I want to click on the settings uh, icon right there. And I'm just going to scroll to the bottom where it says pattern. You just put in 0, 0, 60 px uh, and then zero. So that's for the spacing and you want to make sure this is set to fluid. So from here you want to click on add add on and then we're going to go with the Joomla Joomla module. Uh, but before we complete this job, matter of fact, we're just gonna let's backtrack here. So before we even do this, let's open up, let's go over to the module section because we're gonna be creating a new module that will connect to this. So you wanna to go to extensions and you wanna go over to the modules. And then where you say SP data, movie database, you want to click on that. And then right now you have uh, default settings. You can leave that. Go to the status. Make sure it's published. And for the position, you want to put this on page builder. So you type it in. Select that. And for the menu assignment, you want to click on the drop down only on the pages selected. So when you do that, it's going to select everything. So what you want to do is just click on where it says select. You have all and you have none. Just click on none. And then you can choose what you wanted to select. All right, so you click on Member Home. That's the menu that we created. So this is going to show only on that page. And then you want to click on where it says Show Title. We're just going to click on Hide. And then Save and Close. So when we go back to Page Builder now, you want to click on the Add-on. So from the Add-on, you want to click on the Joomla module. And then for the title, Latest, we can always change that. And let's scroll down to the bottom here where it says select module. So when you click on this drop down here, you notice you don't see anything yet. So, so we'll click on the add on and we'll go over to the Joomla module. And then you can put in the label new movies. We can always change this. I'm just putting something here. And then you scroll down here and then where it says select module type. When you click on it now, you see the SP Movie Database uh, module that we just created. So you want to select that and you want to click on save. So right now, that's going to show all the movies that are there. So once we've added this module, now we're going to uh, save it. So we're going to call this Members Home. And let's just save it first. Once it's saved, then we can go over to the menus. And from the menus, then we're going to be able to connect this particular page with, uh, with the front end. So you want to go to the hidden, click on the Member Home members home and you want to click where it says select and we're going to get page builder and we are going to connect it with the new page that we just created now we're going to add some more stuff on there but just so that you see what it looks like so let's go over to select the page and you want to click on members home and then you have the option here of uh, the status published Make sure it's published, uh, register, so that only those who are registered are going to be able to see this. Uh, and then once you're done, click on Save and Close. 
So now we'll go to the front end. We're not going to see that menu yet because it's really <clears throat> nothing there for for us to see. So if you notice now with this URL uh, where it says members, let's go back here to the top and we're going to put this members. Now usually you can put in the URL or the alias and it's going to take you to that page. So let's see if we've properly set up the access for this. And the way we set up the access is so that no one should have access if they're not a registered member of the site yet. So let's enter. And you notice this we're directing you to be able to log in. So this was going to happen whenever people try to access certain pages, if they're going to be redirected to log in. So let me just log in. And then once I log in, it's asking me, do I want to save this? So I'm just going to no. And then once they're logging, you notice here, this is what they're going to see. So the URL right now is saying members. So every time that someone logs into the site, it's going to bring them to this page. So we're going to work on this page here a little bit more. Uh, since we have this here, let's just fix this up, uh, this section right here. When you look at the home page, you notice that you have this space right here. And it's one, two, three, four. Well, this is set up right now, it's supposed to be five. So let's change this. Let's go over to extensions and back to modules. And let's locate the SP Movie Database uh, module here. So you want to click on it. We're going to make a little change to it. So where it says slide item limit, when you put five, that means that they're going to, they're supposed to be five different movies here. But since we have just four, um, then we're going to change it. Now, one of the great things about this is that you can have, you know, five, six, seven, or ten. Um, this is going to slide from one to the next. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change this from five, and we're going to change it to four, and we can either just type it in or just click on this arrow. And it is going to be four. So let's click on save and close. So now let's refresh the home page and see what we've got. Okay, so now we have four. And if you notice, there's a, the, the image is a lot bigger. And now we're going to work to do the bottom section and add a little bit more um, to the bottom here. So let's go back here over to the module section. And now we're going to add the SP Movie Database, the tab. So I want to click on make sure this is set to hide and put this on position page builder. And then you have a lot of different options that you want to show. You can show a feature coming soon, top rated, latest trailer. So I'm just going to check all of this just so you see what it looks like. Do you want it to autoplay? We'll lift at it. No. And then set the limit to four. Make sure this is published. And you want to make sure that the access is set to register. So only users are going to be able to see that. And then you go to menu assignment, click on online pages selected, and click on none. And then we're going to choose here the members home. And by the way, you can change it from members home to whatever you want to call. I'm just calling members home just for, you know, calling sake. So once you're done there now, uh, to, to everything looks good. So you want to click on save and close. So on the back end of page builder, let's add on a new module or a new row. So you want to click on add new row. And then we're going to go to add on. Select the Joomla module. And then we're going to call this something like latest movies. And you can put the tag to um, one, two, or three. And then click on select option. Now you notice here, it's not showing here, even though we just added the module. Uh, this sometimes happens. So what, we do, what we're going to do is just click on any module right now. Just click on that and then click on save. So what we got to do first is we have to refresh this page because we made those changes prior to this. So in order for the changes to show here, we have to click save. So once it's saved, then you want to go back to the module and then you want to change, change. So go to select. Now you see the tab is going to show there. So let's click on save.
and then we're going to add another um, add-on which is the advanced scroll to the bottom advanced title so we're going to call this one here latest movies and then for the icon just type in video and you get the video cam and you can choose whatever icons that you want from there. So I'm, I just chose that one. You can choose the color of that. And then we're going to put in the link here. Now, I'm just putting that, that link. But what you want to do is, matter of fact, let's do this. I'm going to change... What I just did there is <clears throat> I'm connecting this particular link. So when they click on, uh, let me add this link text here. So when they click on more latest movies, it's going to take them to the page where they can be able to see all the movies. So now when you put your mouse over the home, you see the latest movies. You see feature movies and so on and so forth. This is where they can be able to manage their, their account. And I'm going to go with that you know, in, in an upcoming lesson. So let's have that there. Click on save. And we're just going to drag this up top. And let's click on save. And let's take a look and see what it looks like on the front end. So once you refresh the home page, this is what you have. You have latest, featured, coming soon, top rated. But you can't really see uh, some things here. So let's just come back here, and we're going to click on this add container. So we need to add a container so it kind of centralizes everything so it's not just uh, spread out like that. So once you've added that container and saved it, let's refresh this and see what we've got now. So the home page, you know, looks pretty good. You have this four movies up here. You can add more, and you have this here at the bottom. Uh, so you want to make sure that for this part, it says latest movies. Let's go back here to the add-on title. You want to make sure that you put that over the latest, uh, where it says add-on title. If you put it on where it says admin label, as I did before, it's not going to show you this, um, the title is not going to show up there. And then you can change whatever colors that you want here with that. So if you want to do, you can also replicate this, where it says latest movie. If you want to have something for those, uh, just for latest trailers or the top rated, um, you can do that as well. So let's say you want to have another section after you have the latest movies here and you want to create another section underneath this for latest trailers. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, uh, let me see here. I'm just going to copy or duplicate this row. So when I click on the duplicate, it's going to, you know, of course, just copy it over. So let's click on save. So when we refresh the home page now, the members section, you're going to have two sections now. So you have the latest, and then you have two latest now. So you can change that from latest to latest trailers to whatever it is that you want, want it to say. But this gives you several options. If you notice, yeah, the layout, it spreads out at the very top. It's spread out a little bit here, but then it kind of narrows in at the very bottom here. So you can add as many as you need to um, for this particular section. All right, let's move on to the next lesson.